What's up guys, welcome back to Diving Garage. And today, I'm gonna to tell you about how I got scammed at the AutoZone and how to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Let's dive in. All right, so you might be thinking, what the heck, Ben, what are you talking about? Well, it all has to do with this guy right here. This should be a drop-in, complete, ready-to-run distributor, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not new, complete, or ready-to-run. None of those. According to the ad, it should have all the components you need, um, be ready to drop in and go, come with the right gear, um, good components, but it's just not. All right, so this thing is in the same state it was when I pulled it out of the box. I loosened up everything, took the screws out, just so that way you could, for ease of showing you guys. So this is the very first piece, I'm sorry from the top, nothing. <laughs> so the very first piece, this is a nice dust cover for the coil, Look, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's something missing in this general area right here, and also down in there. So there is a, a carbon, there is a, uh, gasket, obviously the coil, and also the ground strap is not there. And then of course the wire that attached to the coil go down into there. So the wiring harness is here and it appears to be fine. Um, but also again, this is a, supposed to be a new distributor. So let's take a look at the rotor. Right off the bat, you can see there's a lot of carbon dust. There's a uh, wear spot and this is just in every way, not a new rotor it is the, uh, Ignition module new? Uh, could be. I don't know. It's there though. Is the pickup coil new? I mean, it doesn't look like it, but it could be. And then of course the wiring harness, like I said, looks fine. But then look at the look at the cap. See if you can see down in there. Those these terminals right here. In case you don't know, they're supposed to be like a generally kind of like brightly colored brass, but they're just not. They're dark, and they've been roasted. I don't know how many times. And yeah, otherwise, this coil looks okay. The uh, vacuum can is okay. The actual actual body of the distributor is fine and the gear looks fine. The gear looks brand new and nothing appears to be wrong down there. So you might be asking yourself, why is this such a problem? Well, let me tell you, these things are number one, not cheap. And number two, nowadays, they're pretty hard to find. If you're looking for one of these, you might have to drive an hour, maybe two hours, um, definitely out of town and some places out of state. Uh, for me, I had to drive just under an hour, about 45, 50 minutes to get this thing. And I was on my way into work, so I had a detour to get there. I picked it up, jammed it in my trunk, and went off to work. And I got, I got home, and then I went to go unbox it and check it out. Come to find, this thing is like half assembled. So what are your options? You can either drive an hour back and hope they have two in stock, but this was the only one I could find in... I don't know, three hours driving distance. So it's it kind of unreasonable. Now I get it, you know, like it, this is an old style part. Not many stores are even stocking these. And I understand that distributor for a small block, big block, I even a Ford uh, isn't a very common item people need nowadays. But still, if you're going to have it in stock, to me, it should be what the ad says. It should be new, complete, and ready to go. This is none of those. It's not new, it's not complete, and it's not ready to go. So why am I making this big video on it, right? So the, the motto I'm gonna give you out of this is to check your pizza and check your parts. Now, I'm normally that guy. Normally I get it out and look at it and pick it up and stuff, but uh, I was in a hurry this time, and that was my fault. I'll, I'll own that, that's fine. But I didn't do that. I trusted the, the store, and I got burned, right? So. Then after that, what, what, what are you supposed to do if this is the only one in three hours? You're SOL. You can either try Facebook, but people want stupid prices for these when they're all trashed out and they look like this and they want $200, I know what I got, right? That's not cool. So hopefully, if this happens to you, you have spare parts on hand that you can put into this new ready to go distributor and do whatever you're trying to do to your car, truck, project, whatever it is. Just got this brand new distributor from the AutoZone, but it's not new. That's used, that's used. There's no coil. What the heck? I had a few pretty funny comments uh, in that reel. And one of them was, I think the best one was someone said, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to add your own components. No, that's, that's ridiculous. That's like buying an engine from uh, like a crate engine saying pistons required. What? <laughs> That's not the way it works. 
And then I had another guy saying, uh, I used to work at AutoZone, just keep your receipts and take it back. And then they'll order a new one for you. Well, yeah, I could do that. I could take it to my local AutoZone a couple minutes down the road and they could order me a new one. But I, in my experience, that's not even worth it because they're going to charge you shipping, which is ridiculous. All they, they should do is just put it on the truck that's already going to the store. Um, and then they're going to charge and then they may not even give you the right one. Like what if you're looking for a red cap and all they give you is a black cap or you're looking for this style dust cover and they give you that funky like super coil cover. So I don't know. To me, that's not the way either. The way is when you get one of these or any part, really open it up. If you can take it apart, bring a screwdriver with you, open up, uh, open up, the, take the cap off, check out the rotor, take the dust cover off, check out the coil. And unfortunately, you just got to really inspect these things before you actually swipe or tap your card nowadays. And it's sad, but I, again, at some point I get it a little bit because this isn't a very common part, but at the same time I don't because if it says new complete, it should be new and complete. I had one other guy in the comments say, I used to work at AutoZone. This would happen uh, five times a month at least. What people will go buy a brand new distributor, swap all their old parts out, put the well, take the, old, take the new parts out, put the old parts in and try and return it. Guys, be better than that. Come on now. It's, yes, this is not cheap. I think it was like $120, something like that. But still, like that, what you're doing is you're screwing the next guy. And maybe I was the next guy this time. I don't know. To me, if you're buying one of these, you got a sweet project, you got a classic car. Don't screw the next guy by thinking you're screwing AutoZone because all they do apparently is they wrap it back up and put it right back on the shelf. And then here comes Ben just trying to buy a distributor for his truck and it comes finds this. All right, y'all, moral of the story, check your parts, check your pizza. Sad days we're in now, but do what you gotta do. And while you're there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get out there and dive in your next project. Catch you next time.